what is a lease option? Well, we already kind of talked about this, but lease options are used in all aspects of real estate. They're literally the gateway to creative real estate. <clears throat> Again, I talked about cars. If you've ever leased a car, a BMW, Cadillac, Mercedes, whatever, you had a lease option on that car. We're just doing the same thing, except with a house, single family, multifamily, Airbnb, commercial, raw land, any avenue in real estate you can enter into with a lease option. That's what's so great. Do you know you can actually buy an apartment complex on a lease option? Yep, absolutely. So like I said before, lease options can be a lease with a separate option of purchase that allows the buyer the option to buy the house at a set price before the lease expires. Just like leasing a car, we simply flip the lease option to the end buyer. So it's a contract that gives your company the right to lease purchase the home with the right to assign, just like a, a wholesale, you know, you typically assign a wholesale deal, your rights to the actual end buyer. Again, pretty houses, pretty profits. I always say pretty houses, pretty sellers, pretty profits. So who are these sellers? Why would a seller want to even consider a lease option? Well, that's simple. You see, these sellers are not desperate, right? This is very important what I'm showing you right now. These sellers are not desperate. They're simply looking for a plan B. So maybe they've tried to sell for sell by owner, or maybe they've tried MLS. Maybe they've tried to sell for 30 days, 60 days, 90 or more days. You see, the longer a seller tries to sell a house, the more they need a plan B. You are plan B. I want you to think about this again, guys. This is so important. These sellers we're talking to, they're not desperate, right? They're simply looking for a plan B. Plan A is MLS hope for the best. Plan A may be for sale by owner and try to get a cash offer. Well, when that doesn't happen after a month, then two months and three months, and you come along and go, hey, I, I've got plan B here for you. Now they're interested. That is the, the, that's the thing. You are plan B. And let's look at the, what are the options sellers have anyway? Well, plan A, again, sell for full price very quickly, right? And they think plan B is MLS hope for the best and pay 6% commission. Or even worse, they think plan B is rented out and become a landlord. That's not plan B. Plan B is a lease option for full price and cash flow. But here's the thing, nobody ever told them about plan B. This is where you come in. You are going to be the lease option expert in your area. You are plan B. So what are the advantages of the seller? There's a lot of advantages. One, they get full price. You're not negotiating with the seller. They want 300,000. Okay, great. What's your email address? Let me get you the, uh, the contract. Boom. They get, so they get full price. You're not negotiating you get cash flow each month. Our sellers on average cash flow about $500 or more a month. That's pretty significant and no commissions. That's huge. That's huge on a $300,000 house. That's $18,000 they're saving just in commissions. And the buyers we're working with, these are serious buyers. These are not renters. And our buyers get a home warranty, so all the repairs are covered. <clears throat> Very hands-off for the seller. And again, our buyers get financed in 10 to 12 months. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do 12-month contracts. So they're very short-term. Buyers get financed quickly. Buyers are happy. Sellers are happy. So it is literally a no-brainer for the seller. On a $400,000 house, the seller is going to make $24,000 more plus our cash flow using a lease option. Guys, I don't know if you've looked at you know cars lately, $24,000, you can get a very, very nice used car. You can actually get a new car for that, uh, but $24,000, that's a lot of money. And here's the thing, because the benefits of the lease options and because you are plan B, you are the lease option expert, you never have to convince a seller. This is, guys, this is so powerful. You literally never have to convince a seller. It's totally different than negotiating, all right? I never convince a seller. I simply go, hi, I see what you want. I've got this. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Let me know. 
Again, I love analogies, so, and I love Mexican food. So again, I never have to convince the sellers. You see the seller, imagine this, the seller wants enchiladas, okay? They want uh, chicken enchiladas, uh, rice and beans. And so what do they do? They stick their first sell by owner sign in the yard, wanting enchiladas. And they're waiting, and they're waiting, and they're waiting for enchiladas. Well, after 30 days, 60 days, 90 days later, they're not getting it, they haven't got any enchiladas. And they're getting hungry, all right? I simply go, hey, I know you want enchiladas, that's great. Um, I've got fajitas, I've got uh, beef fajitas, chicken fajitas, I got peppers, tortillas, everything, you know? Maybe you want them, maybe not, just, you know, what's, let me know. Well, here's the thing. When they see there are no enchiladas coming, they love the fajitas. Right? Do you see what I'm saying? They, they're they getting hungry after 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. They're like, hey, uh, yeah, let me see those fajitas again. So how do you become the superhero? Well, again, you're helping a seller that can't sell and you're helping a buyer that can't buy or just wants a little bit of time to buy. It is a win, win, win situation. Now, I know you're thinking, oh, John, I don't know. I'm kind of scared talking to sellers. I don't know. I bet they ask a lot of really tough questions, don't they? Nope. 